Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we're going to be talking about another New Balance. If you're joining us this week for the first time, we are celebrating a full New Balance week. So each day I'm going to be talking about a new New Balance. Today we're going to be talking about a 990 V3. This is part of the Teddy Santis collection, which is set to release 16 different series of the 990s from the V1 to the V3. So let's take a quick sneak peek at the sea salt colorway. Welcome back to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today, we are going to be talking about the 990 V3. These are the sea salts. Again, this is part of the Teddy Santa's collection. I actually pulled out the little postcard that came in here and you can kind of see all of the different color schemes that he is expected to release. Uh, we've already picked up a few of the Marblehead incense uh, colorways, which is really fire, but I was really stoked to get this pair just because of the color combination. So we'll go through, talk about the overview on these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I styled them, then conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. So again, this is part of the Teddy Santa's collection. He is set to release 16 different versions of the 990 series. Again, from the V1 to V3, this is a V3, which is probably my favorite out of the three different series. Uh, but that just has to do with my preference and how comfortable these are. Uh, but let's start off with the front of the toe box here. So this is actually, I think, one of my only New Balance new balances that has no suede on it this is all leather and all mesh which is really cool so starting with toe box we do have this nice just rich white leather on the front there nice kind of metallic-y whitish silver meshing then we have nice tumbled gray leather as we work our way up we have simple cream laces and then the eyelets are more of that just clean white leather material on the top of the tongue this is where most of the color is and that is the new balance USA logo in that red accent and then underneath is that charcoal gray color scheme which has kind of a metallic -y effect to it and then we do have more of that metallic -y whitish silver on the meshing if you're not filling these laces they do give you a second pair of laces and in comparison this is a little bit more white in tone as opposed to the cream that already has been laced up with the sneaker itself let's take a look at those details and then move along to the side panels
working our way to the side panels, we've got that underlay of the mashing there, as well as overlays of that rich, clean white leather. The New Balance is in that nice silvery gray color scheme, and it's outlined in the dark charcoal gray, followed by more of that just clean white leather. Working our way to the back of the sneaker, we have New Balance in white on top of this metallic -y red color scheme. And then we've got the Made in USA on the silver collar here, and then underneath some more of that charcoal gray as we work our way to the other side paneling you'll see that we do have the 990 branding there and then again that n which is in that nice metallic -y silver color scheme outlined again in that charcoal gray and white the insoles have new balance authentic shoes boston massachusetts in black and the insoles are just a simple cream color scheme the seeker is then completed with this off white sail color scheme and then a white underlay underneath that and then we complete the seeker with a charcoal gray outsole let's take a look at those last and final details So moving on to size and fit, I am a seven and a half New Balance, especially in the 99 series, whether it's a V1, V2, or V3. I would say stick true to size in this V3 version. If you do have higher arch narrow feet like myself, this would work best for you. If you do have flat, wider feet, this could differentiate a size that may work different for you. All right, so now let's jump into styling again really just clean colorway all around i really just love this for the summertime coming up i feel like this is a nice refreshing color scheme that's going to go with pretty much all of my light colors that i plan to wear during the summertime so for the first look i decided to wear some nice just clean cream cargo pants with a cream tee that i tucked in and then i layered that with a button down cream shirt again i really wanted to play with the color scheme that i saw throughout the seeker for the first look second look I did kind of keep it with the same kind of color scheme this time some denim pants that had some stripes on it that were in a cream color away with gray and then I had a sweatshirt material sleeveless shirt and a darker kind of tannish beige color scheme And then for the last and final look, I decided to wear a nice just cropped beige top and then I layered that with a darker kind of light brown button down. And then for the bottoms, I wore some clean white denim pants that were a wide leg cut. Definitely think that white is just a great fresh clean option if you're looking for something that's just really easy to match these shoes in particular and definitely something I'm going to be wearing all summer long just to keep cool.
All right, so you let me know down below what was your favorite look of the three or how would you style these? conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $210 and they are currently going between 240 to $320. Again, just a solid colorway all the way around and just one of my favorite silhouettes, obviously made in USA. So you're getting prime materials throughout this sneaker. Uh, so just something to keep in mind when you are looking at purchasing new balances, made in USA and made in UK are literally on a different level. All right, everyone, that's it for this unboxing and review. If you're new here and joined us for the first time, thank you so much for joining us. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, feel free to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa. We'll catch you all next episode.